What is a zero star recruit? Um, I think it's just a zero star recruit. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I just wasn't a recruited guy coming out of high school. So I've always been um, what they say, you know, undervalued or, or underrated. Yeah. And I, I feel like that's just kind of what self-explanatory. Okay, right? Macomb, Michigan? Yes. Okay, so were you not a good high school player? I was elite. Well, okay, but then how are you a zero star recruit? How did no D1 school offer you? I, I don't get it. You know, I, I don't get it either. Okay. But I, I really, I, I don't know. You know, I think that um, just being in the area that I was in, I didn't really go to many camps. I played three sports, so I was always busy. Um, I was fortunate to get a scholarship, a gray shirt opportunity from Central Michigan, and then I just made the best of my opportunity. Now explain what a gray shirt is. It pretty much is when you sit a semester and you pretty much take a semester off at home and then you show up in the spring, it would be just, it will roll over to the next year's scholarship. What did you do during that time where you weren't going to school? I, I worked a, a, a few jobs. I worked at Toys R Us for a while. I actually, Toys R Us? Yeah, I quit. I quit there. You quit after how long? Um, about a little, two weeks. You didn't like the Toys R Us? Season. No. The happiest place on earth? I did not. I did not like that. So five years later, you win the Super Bowl and you have an interception in every one of the NFC playoff games, and everybody's like, who's this guy? Ooh, you know, <laughs> second round pick. Right. It's not like you were under notice there. Right. And I mean, this five years to go from no recruitment to Super Bowl champion and one of the stars of the playoff run for the Bucks, and so that didn't surprise you. No, not at all. I mean, I feel like I've always been a confident guy. Why did you want to play for Tennessee? Oh man, opportunity. You know, not only the opportunity, but um, the coaching staff and the culture they have here. You know, Frabel. I mean, I rave about him all the time, but he's a guy that just he speaks volume and he speaks character. Um, everything that he does is, is from his heart, um, and, and that goes a long way with a player. Feels like they recruited you. Yeah. That you got the five-star recruitment <laughs> to come here. Is that fair? I mean, it's it's fair to say, right? Any team that was trying to get a player on free agency is recruiting you. Um, but they were definitely consistent and they were involved from the beginning to the end. And so um, it made the decision a lot easier for me uh, when the time when the time was, was right. Explain in, in sort of your words why you think you were such a fit for them and they're such a fit for you. You know, they preach speed, they preach violence, they preach versatility, um, all the things that I feel like I can do. And so I think that it's just, it was a perfect fit because they asked for everything that I do and I, everything that I needed, they had. And so it's just, I wanted an opportunity to be able to play, you know, corner on the outside. I wanted an opportunity to just have a fresh start and be around, you know, people and coaches that believed in me and believed in my abilities. And they gave me all of those opportunities here.